Ghosts take on many forms, be they animals, people, or ominous figures that stand at the end of your garden, watching you while your back is turned, and what was that thing you just saw out the corner of your eye? But surprisingly, one frequently sighted ghost takes on a rather different form, the form of a former US president. Of all the presidents that have died, Abraham Lincoln seems to be the one that doesn't want to shuffle off of his mortal coil anytime soon, as there have been many accounts of his ghost being spotted all around the White House and other areas he frequently worked in. With President Truman hearing raps at the door while sleeping in the Lincoln bedroom, Eleanor Roosevelt and the family dog sensing Lincoln's presence throughout the White House, and even sightings of his ghost at his grave in Springfield, Illinois, it's fair to say he doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. And it's not just Americans that have met the spirit. During a visit to the White House, Prime Minister Winston Churchill was taking a long late night bath with a drink of scotch and a cigar to help him relax. The account says he got out of the bath and entered the adjoining bedroom still naked apart from the cigar, and was startled to see Lincoln standing by the fireplace leaning on the mantel. Churchill supposedly took the cigar out of his mouth, tapped off the ash at the end, and said, Good evening, Mr. President. You seem to have me at a disadvantage. The ghost chuckled at the remark and disappeared, leaving Churchill naked and a little bamboozled. But Lincoln also seems to have a way of getting his ghostly self around the place when he's looking for a place to spook. In 1865, the US Railroad started work on building a luxury steam locomotive to tow the president around. While Lincoln wasn't a fan of the idea, he still let it be built. He never got to see the finished locomotive, motive, however, on account of him suffering from a terminal case of being shot through the head. It was completed shortly after his death and named the Lincoln Memorial, where it was used to pull Lincoln's funeral train around the country to 12 funerals all held for the president. The locomotive was never used again after this. Every year in April, around the anniversary of his death, it is said that a ghost train passes through several stations pulling the funeral train. Eyewitnesses say they can hear an odd-sounding steam engine whistle followed by a steam locomotive approaching them, pulling several carriages draped in black, with a strange blue glow surrounding the whole train. It sounds its whistle again as it stops at the station. Some accounts say there are skeletons of soldiers on board playing music, though no sound is heard. Others say they have seen the soldiers guard a coffin loaded in one of the carriages. After 20 minutes, the engine whistles again and begins to leave the station, eventually disappearing down the line. Locals living in areas where the train stops have reported their clocks stopping for 20 minutes on night where the train is spotted. So who knows? Maybe old Abe is still around and kicking, just not in a physical form. Or it could just be a whole bunch of coincidences. Whatever the case, it'd sure be one hell of a sight to see that pull into the station on your way home from work. Subscribe for more.